with Erica Johnson. She's the director of the Interoperability Lab at the University of New Hampshire. And she's here with her team at InCenter for the PlugFest. Hi, Erica. How are Hi. you? Hi, Rick. How are you doing? Doing fine. Uh, tell us what brings the, the newest uh, director of uh, ONF's Testing Leadership Council here to the PlugFest. Well, I'm very excited to be here. As um, Rick just pointed out, I'm the new chair of the Testing Leadership Council, and we're a group kind of coming together and collaborating, bringing together laboratories and test tool vendors to create a conformance test program that's an open ecosystem. So you have um, vendors that are fully engaged in the standards process, then being able to go and test and certify and get an open flow certification logo. So we're putting together processes and procedures. We're putting together roadmaps for how to roll out the version 1.3 test program and hopefully have some vendors on that list in October. We're also talking about how to create a more open ecosystem and community for building future testing programs, including tools and um, support for vendors as they go through their R&D process throughout the quality assurance process right to market launch. So I'm very excited to work with these um, individuals and we have a couple great labs coming together. We have InCenter, UNH, we also have Criterion Network Laboratory and BII who is also hosting an event this week. And we're also working with some great test tool vendors including commercial uh, equipment manufacturers, Ixia, Inspirant. We're also working with some others including Luxoft and obviously the open source community and OF test. So it is a great environment. We're excited to launch some of the uh, policies and procedures, putting together manuals, and being able to publish publish them to get more involvement and engagement and help just generate more excitement and create this bigger ecosystem. Wow! That is an incredible agenda. Uh, what do you have till next Thursday to get it done? Absolutely, <laughs> but good thing we have lots of students back at the home, um, you know, working on these problems, working on the test plans, and getting their development, um, and working with other organizations as well to kind of further this test program. As part of our mission at UNH, we try to enable and provide hands-on experience to the next generation of engineers. So we have lots of students that's excited about this new opportunity, and they like to get their hands dirty and get engaged and um, we're excited to then push them off into industry and help um, further their next companies that they're uh, employed with. Yeah, so you guys have had a lot of experience with standards organizations and groups that have wanted to develop testing programs. You guys have been around for a while. Um, talk about what experiences you've had uh, and IOLs had and how you think they apply to uh, the challenges that ONF has in their, in their new testing program. Well, we just celebrated our 25th year. We organically grew since 1988, um, adding more and more testing services and working with other technology areas in the data communications and networking industry and working with lots of other forums. So a lot of our experience is um, being flexible to the forum's needs and the alliances, so understanding what their members are doing, understanding the business models and structures around that whole ecosystem, and adapting those test programs to fit those specific needs. So we're really uh, familiar with building open um, test programs, including multiple labs and multiple test tools, so we understand the challenges there with ensuring a highly technical, credible program and consistent across all tools in all labs. So we have that, you know, validation type of experience where we can bring that to the ONF. And we have lots of experience working with um, many different member companies, over 150 uni companies. So we understand, you know, um, you know, to get their feedback and their input. And I think we will bring that to the alliances or the um, foundation as well. Well, as you look at the, uh, at the future, what is a successful testing program look like? You look uh, one, two, two years down the road uh, for ONF. What are the things that you think it needs to have uh, as, you, uh, as you help lead the Testing Leadership Council, as you work with mm -hmm. the testing and interop, working with the work group chairs and the, the overall technology thrust of the organization? What does a successful program look like to you? A strong collaborative model um, where we have processes and procedures and 
from the vendors going through the testing to the test labs performing the testing to the tool vendors understanding um, and ensuring that the test specifications are uh, clear. It's having all of those entities and organizations working well together and then ultimately having a successful you know, listing of um, companies and devices on that approval page that actually once they are being deployed, they are working as expected and are conformant to the standards. That's great. Erica, thank you for your time and thanks for uh, being a part of ONF. First as a research associate, now as an uh, approved ONF lab, and finally now as uh, chair of Testing Leadership Council. Congratulations. Thanks for having me.